What's going on guys, Cal here, Jailbreak Central, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a great tip for really any Jailbreak user, but more specifically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your device if you've downloaded a tweak that um, possibly made it not work. So let's say you downloaded a tweak and now you can't access Cydia, you can't access your device, you know, the screen doesn't work, so, you know, something went wrong with your device, and you can't uninstall the tweak, obviously because you can't access Cydia or something of the sort, um, I'm going to be showing you how to bypass this and how to delete the tweak, hopefully get your phone working again. Um, and you know, this is just a great tip, uh, a great, basically great knowledge to know for any jailbreak user just to be able to get out of situations like this if it arises in the future. So to do so, we're going to be using an application called Cyberduck. Now this is on the Mac, um, you can find it free online. I believe it costs like $30 in the App Store, but you can find it, easily find a free download online. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Now once you've downloaded Cyberduck, the other software you're going to need is OpenSSH. Now this is a city tweak on your device. Uh, make sure you have this installed once again, otherwise it will not it will not work. Um, called Open and then in all caps SSH. Once you've downloaded that, there's no options to configure. It'll work automatically, and this is what allows Cyberduck to connect to your device. Now once you've downloaded both of these, make sure you download both of them. Go ahead and open up Cyberduck on your computer. And then go to the top left hand corner you'll see a button that says open connection go ahead and click on that and then in these drop down menu here make sure you have sftp ssh file transfer protocol once you have that selected um, this is what allows us to transfer files delete them and so on and so forth it'll ask for the server now the server is just your device's ip address whatever it is um, you know, it, it's usually a string of numbers. Oops, sorry about that. Usually a string of numbers starts with like uh, 10.0. You know, 20. You know, something of the sort. Um, but anyway, just make sure you find that. Uh, to find this on your device, go to uh, settings, Wi-Fi, and then click the little blue arrow next to your Wi-Fi's name, and it'll say IP address, and then a bunch of numbers. Just type that in there. And once you've typed that in, the port is going to be 22. It's always going to be 22, no matter where you are or what device you're on. And the username will be root, um, sorry, root, and the password will be alpine. Um, now this is the password for and username for every device, um, unless you change them later on. But to start off, this is going to work for your device. Now once you've done all that, go ahead and click connect. Uh, as you can see, I've already connected here. Um, once you're done, it should be in this, uh, you should get a bunch of different folders here, don't really know what they mean. Uh, it's a little confusing at first. But I'm going to show you how to navigate this to find the tweaks um, that is messing up your device. So go ahead and go to this drop down menu up here. And if you're on if you're on anything like slash library slash var slash var stash something like that, just go ahead and go to um, this one right here. You can go back and click on this. Just the straight slash with the little hard drive disk. Now once you're here, you're going to go ahead and navigate to library right here at the top. Um, now wait for it to load. It should uh, take a little while, but not too long. Once that's loaded, you go to Mobile Substrate, should be right here, and then Dynamic Libraries. Now once you're in here, you should see a list of all the tweaks you've installed. Um, you can see I have, uh, let's see, I've got Side Elite 7, I have Winterboard, I've got 5 Icon Dock. And now once you're in this, uh, this folder, all you have to do is delete the, uh, the tweak. So let's say that uh, Side Elite was messing up my device. I just simply click on both of these and then click uh, delete on my keyboard or just go up here to action and then go down to delete. Um, so once you've done that, it'll just delete them from your device. Go ahead and reboot the phone and you should be good to go. The tweak will have been removed. This is also a great way to move remove multiple tweaks at once. Uh, you know, you don't have to uninstall each one individually, wait for it to reboot. You know, you can select multiple ones, uh, you know, and delete them. So it's just sort of a neat tip. Anyway, once you have done that, you should be good to go. Once again, that is how to delete uh, City Tweaks on your iPhone, or iPod Touch, or iPad. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day. If you want to see more videos like this, more videos related to jailbreaking, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys later.